Capricorn. Welcome to your new love reading for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So this is still a singles reading. It's just now called a new love reading. So this is intended for singles. So you do have to be single. Um, the, you can be uh, in a connection with somebody, but still single. However, that works for you. But this is intended for new love who's coming towards you. Uh, wondering about, you know, when will uh, I have my next encounter, my next date, my next um, significant relationship, or whatever, whatever have you. So th this is intended for those looking for new love. So if you are connected with somebody, but you're not with them, so technically you are single, I do have love readings on my channel that looks at a love connection between you and another, whether you're together or not. So all the May readings are out, and if you're new, you can check the description box below for your general and love playlist and find uh, the new love readings or they're called singles readings. They are on the love connection readings also. So feel free to check those out. You can watch past readings. I do consider them all timeless if you would like to. So this is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. Um, it's a general collective reading. So um, I guess take it how you feel it resonates for you. Um, if you are familiar with my singles readings, it's kind of similar, but I changed the format just a little bit. You can let me know in the comments below how you like the new format. We're still going to look at this person's energy, like overall energy. Then we'll look at how you'll be feeling about one another, uh, obstacles, challenges for the connection, advice, guidance, possible outcome. So let's see Capricorn. Hope everybody's doing well, staying uh, healthy and safe at this time. And I know we're all in under quarantine, most of us. So you're wondering, well, how can this be in May? It's not just intended for May. It's any time in the future. So please keep that in mind. All right. And if I do see like a time frame um, or possibly, you know, where or how you may meet this person, I'll kind of say that. But, you know, again, take it all um, as you feel it resonates for you. So, all right. Let's see. So with this deck here, Capricorn, I will look at the person's like overall energy. And then we'll get this deck here for like this spirit, spiritual soul sort of energy. And this deck here, their love energy, how they are in love, think about love, feel about love, and that kind of energy. And then we'll clarify it all and get into the tarot. All right. Capricorn. Capricorn. New love coming in. Incoming love for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I think that one. Let's see what this new person possibly coming in to the Capricorn singles, wondering about new love. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is this person? What is their spirit, soul, energy like? The Capricorn singles, male, female, someone rising in Venus. What is this person's spiritual energy, soul energy like? Okay, that one. And... I'm just going to pull these first, and then we'll take a look, and then we'll get into the tarot. All right, let's see what their love energy is like, how they view love, feel about love, how they are in love. For Capricorn singles, new love coming in, someone rising Venus, male or female, spirit please. What is this new love for Capricorn, next significant person? And, um, you know, we're all able to date again. You know, you may date others before you find this one. Uh, if, you know, this turns out to be a significant relationship for you, it could be, you know, you may have to date, date others before you find this one. If I feel like this one uh, is not really a good relationship, I will say it. So um, I've had a few where um, they weren't so great. So a few readings. So we'll see. I don't sugarcoat. I'm going to tell it like it is. And I don't do reversals unless they fall out reversed. So, okay. So let's see. Capricorn. What is this person's energy? So we got rest and reconsider. So this is the nine of wands energy. So the nine of wands energy is, um, you know, the wands are all about fire and passion, but the nine of wands is like the wounded warrior, you know, the tattered, battered soldier. So this person might have, um, just been through something in their life. It doesn't mean another relationship. It could have been just something either tragic or just very um, all-consuming to them. It could have been about family, relationships, something with their friends, their work. Could have been another relationship. But whatever it was, it really put them through the ringer, I feel. So they may be in an energy where they're kind of resting and just kind of taking care of themselves. But, you know, nine of wands, they still have a little bit of fight left in them. 
uh, if they feel like something's worthy of fighting for. So that's kind of a good energy. You know, they kind of taking care of themselves. They've just been through something major in their life. But if something comes along in their path, um, you know, and they feel like it's worthy of fighting for, I feel like this person will get up off of this in uh, posture here and start fighting for something that they feel uh, they believe in. So that's a good energy. Okay, so let's see. We have guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So they could have children or they could uh, work with children in some way, shape, or form. They could be a counselor. They could be um, a mentor or, you know, a teacher, anything where they work with children or they could have children. So, and we have here, be in the present, dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. We have 40 there, which is four, which is about stability. So I think this, you know, this person is in the present right now because of what they've been through. Again, they're just resting, taking care of themselves. They're healing, um, you know, thinking back what they've been through. But they still dream of the future a little bit, you know, so uh, they're not giving up the dream. So if they're single, I feel like nines are single energy. So this person definitely is single. Um, but whatever they've been through here, um, you know, I feel like they're recovering, you know, they're <laughs> tending to their bruises, but um, they still dream of a future of some kind. So maybe they want children in the future. So we'll see how this plays out. So if you are someone that is looking for, you know, a long-term person in the future, you would like to have a family and that kind of energy. I feel like especially with 44, with that stability, you know, kind of energy, I think this person would really like to have, um, you know, a relationship where they're either married or living together or whatever, common law, whatever, you know, whatever suits, every, you know, everybody watching this. I think there are somebody who would like a stable home life of some sort with a family. That's kind of what I'm getting. All right. So, and they, you know, maybe, you know, maybe they did come out of like a divorce or something like that. Um, and maybe they had one child and they're like, you know, I'm still not giving up the dream. I could still be young and like maybe in down the road in the future, you know, maybe I'll get married again, have another child or more children. You know, I don't, I think whatever the dream was they have for their life i think they're not giving up that dream but they're just in a state now of resting recuperating healing recovering um from whatever they've been through all right so let's see let's get more energy on this person for you capricorn okay what do we have here the seven of cups yeah they're still in an energy seven of cups can be about options decisions confusion um, they're not giving up in a dreamy, that's a dreamy kind of energy with the seven of cups. It could be daydreaming, dreaming, and we got dream here. So again, they're, you know, still looking, it says possibility. So they're still looking at a possibility here of a future. And you see that person sitting there kind of like daydreaming. So, you know, I don't think they're giving up a dream of what they've always wanted. All right, let's get a few more here. Drama. Knight of Swords. So they just cut out some kind of drama in their life. Could have been anything. Again, it could have been a work situation, something with a friend, a you know, family, um, something legal. I mean, because a Knight of Swords rushes in, takes action. So and with that sword, you could cut away things not starving you. So this person just been through something where they had to cut out some drama, negative energy around them. So we have luck, the Ten of Pentacles. So, so they either cut out a marriage <laughs> and maybe they're divorced or, you know, you know, or whatever they just cut out or been through, um, maybe is postponing them getting out into the world to find their Ten of Pentacles person, you know? So let's see, it says luck there. So they still have hope for a Ten of Pentacles person that is about marriage commitment sharing everything together you know family dynamic legacy that whole ball of wax with the ten of pentacles energy so we do have the six of pentacles so that's balance generosity so they want some definitely want and this is coming over the dreaming of the future so they're dreaming of something balanced <laughs> something more balanced in the future <laughs> to a cups partnership exactly 
what do we have one more here so i'm feeling just this one two of cups yeah so they're holding out for their two of cups person their soulmate it says partnership here kind of energy so i don't know what they've cut out whatever drama they've been through but they cut it out but they're still daydreaming about a future about a ten of pentacles person with this balance soulmate partnership they're still dreaming of that whatever they've been through here so not i'm not quite sure what they've been through but whatever it is they cut it out so all right so let's see so this person i feel like you know will be single they'll be free and clear of whatever they cut out here you know recovering they still have a little bit of fight in them they're still dreaming of their future they're not giving up so okay so let's uh see how you'll feel about each other let's see how you'll feel about each other this person probably doesn't like drama either you know like kind of gossip drama all that kind of energy all right so let's see how you feel about each other seven of swords so i'm gonna put you on this side capricorn seven of swords says loss whoops and it can also be um kind of sneaking out of a situation getting away from a situation or not being honest or um not being honest with yourself kind of energy so let's get a couple more about how capricorn will feel about this person queen of cups so i'm going by the court cards just the kings and queens for uh, the sign so it's not so confusing so we have the queen of cups here which can be cancer the queen of cups is all about love feelings emotions um compassion it's very healing nurturing giving kind of energy i feel like i feel like you're really gonna fall for this person but it's gonna scare you as with the seven of swords it's kind of can be like self-deceit um kind of energy let's get one more the wheel of fortune wow but this is fate destiny um it's fate and destiny because it says destiny right there it's divine timing you know something coming into your life this person is going to come into your life whether it's at the right time for you or not with the seven of swords maybe like you know you could have been through a loss too recently in some way shape or form or been through something and you're not really looking for anything and all of a sudden here comes this person divinely guided into your life for a reason for a purpose and you may unexpectedly uh fall for this person or really like this person and you may lie to yourself and say no 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 i don't i don't you know because you're maybe not ready you may run seven of swords see how they'll feel six of cups wow they're going to feel a real strong connection to you it could be someone returning from the past or from childhood uh, but this can six of cups can is definitely soulmate energy past life energy this person may just feel like they've known you their whole life it may feel real comfortable with them that may scare you maybe something you're not used to and if you feel like you know energies need to be reversed some way here then please do that wow <laughs> oh my gosh wow so wow yeah brand new beginning in love this person is gonna fall madly in love with you capricorn madly in love let's get one more <laughs> we have the emperor energy here this is a divine counterpart this is the emperor you know usually divine masculine but it can be male female whatever here this person's not going to give up on you because the emperor takes lead control charge you know is a ruler not saying they're going to be like over dominant and ruling and you know that kind of energy but i think because looking this way i think and you're looking at each other but you have all this energy between you so i think this person's really going to pursue you even though you have feelings for them you may you may kind of self deceive run a little bit but i think this person's going to chase you <laughs> and i don't mean in a bad way i i just think they're not going to give up because this is a brand new beginning in love so this person's going to fall madly in love with you and i think you're going to feel the same in some way but it's going to scare you you may run wow all right so look at all the water here all right so let's see um king of the ocean so they're gonna have an ocean of emotion for you deep deep feelings all right so 
let's look at the challenges and blockages. So I have a lot of summer energy here. Um, so, and we have swords, which is winter. So I would say summer or winter, something by the water, the ocean. Um, maybe even at a casino. If you go to the casino, maybe buying a lottery ticket. Um, a lot of cups. So, I mean, it could be at a bar or something like that. So let's see, uh, it could be any situation, so don't get too caught up on that. So, so far we only have Cancer. Like I said, I'm only going by the um, Kings and Queens, so it's not so confusing. And depending on how many that come out, uh, right now I'm going to say Cancer. If we don't get too many, I'll say, okay, that's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So we'll see. So what could be the challenges or blockages with this connection? Angel of the Ocean. Now we have temperance so this is balance healing faith hope optimism um patient energy so there may be a lack of patience for some reason you may run out of patience with them because they may pursue you pursue you and pursue you you may get a little aggravated because this is about healing and um balance and patience there could be something uh here that needs more healing or someone's refusing to heal and balance out their energy so there may be a little imbalance and a little impatient energy between the two of you or you with them however um but we do have the sun oh my goodness so this is <laughs> divine soulmate twin flame energy happiness joy success victory enlightenment healing happy home with family energy so there may be a blockage here to really accept this happiness into your life one of you i'm feeling it could be you capricorn but uh wow and we just uh balance again with justice so this is truth and clarity and balance and getting justice serving justice somebody will not let themselves have this justice in their life and this pure bliss and happiness and I feel like the other person is going to just not give up. And the other person is going to grow very impatient. Like, just leave me alone. Stop chasing me. Kind of energy. So it may bring this a little bit of imbalance. All right. So, but justice is here. Justice is here for you, Capricorn. Page of Cups. So there's loving communication. Yeah, I feel like this person is just going to pursue you and pursue you. They're going to keep telling you how much they like you, how much they want to be with you, um, kind of energy. They're not going to give up. <laughs> and you may be reluctant to reciprocate those energies because we have a lot of balance here. And that's a blockage or obstacle. It could be apologies too. Four of Pentacles, energy of holding back, holding on, not letting go, but yet holding back. So stability it's another blockage this i feel like this person's gonna have a hard time holding back their energy from you which probably would help a little bit if they drew back so you wouldn't feel so uh impatient with them maybe even aggravated but i feel like you're gonna like them too but for some reason i think you're gonna feel scared or you're gonna run or something here because of this strong connection wow this temperance angel tries to bring the soulmates together. See, the soulmates are here under the sun. And justice trying to bring in the soulmates together. But this is a blockage and a challenge here. Maybe a lack of apologies for some reason. Oh, boy. And, you know, the four of pentacles can be an energy of holding back. So maybe somebody may say something that they shouldn't and without thinking when they should should have really held back you know and say something that they don't mean because that is also about holding back so that may be a challenge too and someone may not want to apologize either because the page of cups can be apologies so boy all right capricorn so let's see possible advice outcome here choices the lovers oh my gosh Will you make the choice here to accept this soulmate, this lover, this twin flame? Wow. All right. Well, now we have, I'm going to take the top one. We've got a matching person here. King of Cups could be Pisces. So they definitely could be a water sign. 
uh, energy here. Wow, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a brand new, divinely guided, brand new beginning. It's stable, it's secure. It's ground, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. This is a true love. This is stable, secure, grounded for the future. Total prosperity, wealth, long-term potential. Matching couples here with the King and Queen. So we have the Queen over here. So this is the advice, guidance. And now we have the High Priest. So this is... Um, Commitment, marriage, faith, spirituality, religion, um, institutional things, education, learning, um, government, you know, all those institutional things, higher learning, higher commitment, higher spiritual connection. Wow. So the energy is here for a long-term committed partner. And this is a match, it's a soulmate, it's a twin flame. But somebody's going to be scared and maybe run or lie or lie about how they truly feel. And the other person, I feel like, is going to be really, really persistent. And the challenge here is to even out the energies, hold back when need to, allow yourself to be happy and have this soulmate in your life. Wow. And I felt like this person, Nine of Wands, is someone that doesn't give up. They've been through it, but they still don't give up. This person is not going to give up on you. Capricorn, not. Wow. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The King of Swords now. So this is Gemini. And whenever I get the King, Queen, or the Ace, it always always reminds me of divine energy, um, divine intervention, you know, the universe, shedding light, clarity on this. But somebody clearly knows exactly what they want. Open, honest, truthful com communication. Kind of energy but we do have the five of cups here it's sadness but we do have death here which is about endings and transformation so somebody you know i felt like feel like it could be you it could be them too who's been through endings and transformed you know there's been sadness and loss being indecisive with the two of swords definitely could be your energy someone feeling illusioned with the moon not sure of the path, not seeing the path clearly. It uh, could be about secrets. I'm not really getting secrets here, but it can also be very deep feelings and emotions here. And this person is not going to give up. Three of Cups are going to want to take you out. They're going to bring you out. They want to pick you up, take you out for a drink, meet for a drink, have good times. I'm not getting third party here because they want to take the leap of faith and they want this new beginning. They want this new beginning here with you. So that's what I'm seeing, you know, uh, Capricorn. So it's, will you accept this soulmate? They will not, they're, they're not going to give up on you. They clearly, clearly know exactly what they want. So we do have Cancer, Pisces, and Gemini. Or they could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have air and water. Wow. Okay, Capricorn. Uh, Best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.